All right, everyone. Uh, good morning, good evening to wherever people are. This is Dr. Shiva Ayadure. Um, today, I want to uh, really present um, a very, very important concept, and we'll probably do a number of videos on this, okay? Um, but the concept I want to talk about is uh, uh, two of Big Pharma's products. One are steroids, anabolic steroids, uh, legal steroids. Um, and the other, and we have our town hall today, to those of you joining, uh, or sorry, our open house. Every Thursdays at 11 a.m., we do an open house for the world. And you can see some of the participants in the open house who are joining us. Um, and then at, on, at 8 p.m., we do our town hall uh, for Shiva for president. So, um, and during these open houses or town halls, I'd like to talk about a topic that's very, very important. And obviously, uh, the basis of our movement for truth, freedom, and health is one word, which is education. The slogan um, is get educated or be enslaved. And uh, it's some, I believe education is ultimately the revolution. Um, the revolution will be when enough people get armed with the knowledge of system science to think um, how systems work. And so we have created an incredible program at Truth, Freedom, and Health called Truth, Freedom, Health. Um, you can go to truthfreedomhealth.com and you can really start understanding the science of systems. And we've created a program because the only way the world is going to change is if you become a leader and start understanding this. But part of this understanding leads people ultimately um, to see contradictions in so-called leaders and how these leaders are actually misusing your trust and they bank on you letting them get away with their contradictions. So the question I want to ask from a scientific perspective, and science is always about asking questions, um, uh, there's a gentleman who is, I consider one of the most demonic misleaders of our times. And demons, by the way, are people who you think are helping coming to save you, but they're actually doing the opposite. And that is Booby Effing Kennedy, also known as RFK Jr. And the reason I want to talk about it is several, about a month ago, you had this fool um, doing push-ups and showing off his disgusting body, which was all clearly injected with steroids. Um, in fact, there's something called uh, TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. It's actually a, 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 the new way of basically legalizing steroids. When Big Pharma um, wants to make money, they take something that's illegal and they make it legal. That happened with, for example, diacetyl morphine, which is actually heroin, okay? And then they created Oxycontin. So the pharmaceutical companies know when there's a market for something, they're going to try to legalize it. So Bobby Kennedy, Booby Kennedy, Booby effing Kennedy, who um, uh, someone here just said, uh, thanks for putting um, uh, the bad taste in my mouth for the man who pretends to save the world. Yeah, exactly. That's Booby effing Kennedy. Uh, so if you look at this individual, he's been telling people that he's anti-vax, right? Um, which we proved is actually false because he actually tell, he's told people that I'm pro-vax, I'm fully pro-vax, I vaccinated all my kids, right? And then he goes on to lie to people, telling people that he's going to, once he becomes president, he's going to take the corrupt government bureaucracy and have them create safe vaccines. So that's the kind of duplicity that he's doing. Um, and the truth is when you take a systems approach, you find out that the really, if you want to really address it, we have to talk about the immune system and boosting immunity. And that's been our position from day one, beyond vax and anti-vax, you know, boost immunity, et cetera. And we've been educating people on how to do that. Now, if you look at the mRNA vaccine and you don't want to believe any of the quote unquote conspiracy theories, if you even go to the sheets that the manufacturers have put out, which is including Pfizer, including Moderna, including the Oxford vaccine. And you read their sheets, they'll tell you that all the side effects, one of the side effects, it's CVT, cardiovascular thrombosis, also known as, AKA known as blood clots, okay? Thrombosis. So if you read the vaccine um, side effects, they'll tell you what percentage of uh, people, if they get the mRNA vaccine, um, or even the non-mRNA vaccine because of the spike protein. It's a spike protein, um, affects pericytes, uh, which is a cell in the vasculature, and it has a, a chance, a probability of causing blood clots, okay? So they've written what those numbers are. 
It's out there, cardiovascular thrombosis. All right, so assume that's true. So assume um, the mRNA vaccine on a certain probability will cause cardiovascular thrombosis, which is blood clots. Now go over to steroids, okay? Um, there is at minimum, I'm, I'm probably removing several zeros to be conservative, at least a thousand times more chance that you're gonna get a blood clot, CVT, from anabolic steroids. Let me repeat that again. There's at least, at least, and, I'm, and this is being very, very safe, a thousand times more chance that you're gonna get CVT, cardiovascular thrombosis, blood clots from anabolic steroids. The testosterone replacement therapy is a quote unquote legal anabolic steroids because now it's creating an industry. Booby fucking Kennedy promotes both, pr promotes actually, he actually did promote both. In his own home, people had to be mRNA vaccinated before they came into his home for a party. And he's shooting himself up with steroids. Now I'll do a whole whiteboard video on this, but just to let you know that if you do all the research on TRT and anabolic steroids, there's enough evidence showing what it, when someone starts getting on testosterone replacement therapy, you have to go to the reason they went on that. Well, there's been low testosterone levels in the human public over time because of the foods, many, many endocrine disruptors, um, and, and nutrition is a lot to do with this, okay? Um, there are many, many nutrients that are now missing in people's, uh, 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 you know, plate that used to really support um, proper testosterone levels, okay? At, as you age, I mean, you shouldn't be declining so rapidly. So that's one of the important things. And there are foods which are precursors and compounds that in, in the case of a male, that your testes will produce testosterone, one of them being cholesterol. Your body needs cholesterol. It needs to eat eggs, okay? Cholesterol, a sterol, becomes a steroid, okay? And by the way, the entire theory on LDL and HDL and all these cholesterols causing heart disease is, is one of the most biggest lies. And the guy that uh, exposed it really showed it has to do with inflammation. And finally, after 30, 40 years, he's getting recognition for it, all right? But sterols are very much needed for creating steroids. Um, eggs being one of the most profound foods on the planet, okay? So, and there's many, many other, I could do a whole video on teaching men how to naturally increase testosterone in their bodies, okay? So instead, here's Booby F. and Kennedy um, wanting to act as though he's healthy. He's gonna be the president of health. He's a chairman of the Children's Health Defense Fund. Now, if you are a 15, 18, 20 year old kid and you see this fool getting jacked up on steroids, you're gonna say, oh, I should also take steroids, right? But the reality is, and I'm gonna give you some numbers, um, Big Pharma makes money off anabolic steroids. There's the ones who make it. Big Pharma makes money off mRNA vax. But let's look at the numbers. By 2029, the anabolic steroids or androgen industry is going to go up to a quarter of a billion dollars, okay? 200 plus billion dollars. So by 20, this is an explosively growing industry because of what's being done to the environment. So big pharma is gonna make handsomely out on this. The mRNA therapeutics industry is also gonna grow, but it's gonna grow to about 119, 113 billion by 2029. So you have the anabolic legal steroid market, which is gonna be nearly double that of the mRNA vaccine market. And moreover, the mRNA vaccine market, I mean, the anabolic steroid market has a thousand times more chance of causing CVT, cardiovascular thrombosis. So you tell me how you, why I call him, why I call, call him booby effing Kennedy. And he should be called that, he should be cursed at. And I think I'm being kind when I use F U F U at him five times, I should be using it all the time, okay? And everyone should be, because this guy is a complete scumbag. His family is a history of mafia scumbags, but they have gotten away with thinking that everyday people are actually stupid and you can say whatever you want to them 
and they will, you can say words over here and you can do your deeds over here and it doesn't matter. So you have this fact that the anabolic steroid industry is going to grow to about 200, 250 billion dollars by 2029, explosive growth. And the underlying reason, the system's reason for that explosive growth is the fact that it's not any one thing. Uh, men are under more stress. We've destroyed the healthcare system. We've destroyed the food system. It's not any one thing. So men are no longer men, okay? If you define it as the amount of testosterone, preformed testosterone in your body. And instead of addressing that issue, this guy's injecting himself with steroids, which are going to be one of big pharma's biggest profit profitability centers because, oh, you how, let me test your testosterone level. Boom. Let me give you some TRT. Okay. Oh, you're fat. Let me give you some Ozempic, right? Which is another drug. So you're making people fat and obese, and you're going to give them testosterone replacement therapy and also another a drug which burns up their fat. Okay. It's quite extraordinary. And Booby Effing Kennedy is part of the big pharma. He's, you might as well make him an advertisement for big pharma anabolic steroids, because that's what he's saying. And then on the other side, let's look at the mRNA vaccine. The mRNA vaccine, Booby Effing Kennedy said, it violates the Nuremberg Code. It's awful. It's not been tested. He promoted it for anyone coming to his home had to be mRNA vaxxed. He talks about it causing, you know, releases, causing a blood clots, but he doesn't talk anything about steroids. So I want to just let, this is just the beginning of a series of talks I want to do, but the key thing, everyone, our movement that we educate people on, it is these fundamental contradictions that we cannot give one millimeter to and let these people get away with it. Because once you let them get away with these contradictions, you're basically saying, yeah, I'm a doofus. You can abuse me. You can take advantage of me. And you can't allow that to happen. And that's why our run for president is so spectacularly important is because the first time in American history, you have someone who actually understands these things, can articulate it. Um, and we have a massive movement that we're creating of other people who are learning to articulate this and challenge what I call the not so obvious establishment. Everyone needs to keep repeating. It is not the obvious establishment. Someone said um, they helped Biden out. Um, before. Look, Biden is easy. In some ways, he's actually much more honest. He says, this is where I stand for, and this is what I'm going to do. And he does it. I'm going to get bribes from Ukraine, and I go get bribes. I'm going to go regime change in Ukraine. I'm going to go do that. But it is the Trumps and the booby effing Kennedys who are the real snakes, because they tell you they're on your side. And meanwhile, they stab you on your back, right? And those people are far more dangerous than the guy who tells you to your face, I'm going to punch you in your face, right? You can, you can understand that guy. You can deal with that guy. But the people who say one thing and come stab you in the back, those are very, very dangerous people. And the sooner we learn how to identify these people, you'll save your own life. You'll save your children's lives. So make it very personal. It's about you. So if you think about a booby effing Kennedy, he's telling kids now, to take legal steroids. He's telling men to get ready to take legal anabolic steroids. And he's not telling people that the chance that they will cause blood clots is about a thousand times more than what the mRNA vax will cause you. And none of these medical doctors, by the way, if you notice, the same medical doctors who were quiet when I was calling out these issues in 2020, who are now writing books against the mRNA vaccine, you notice they've been silent also, um, you know, testosterone replacement therapy or the legal anabolic steroids. OK, why? Because many of them are actually administering legal anabolic steroids and they're making money off of it. So we have to go down to much more the guts of this to really understand. The physics here and the science here and the medicine here of the risks, everything we're talking about medicine is the right medicine for the right person at the right time. That's what real medicine is. You can take mercury into your body and under certain dosages, it'll support your actual thinking brain. You take too much of it, it'll destroy your brain. You take certain amounts of arsenic, it supports cardiovascular function. Ancient medical treatments included this. You take too much, it'll kill you, okay? It's about the dosage. And that's what we need to train people about. It's the right medicine at the right time for the right person with the right amount, okay? So 
Now that's a very art and a science and it's a physics. It's not one thing is good or bad. So that's what we need to start training people. And the only place that teaches that is our movement for truth, freedom, health. So anyway, I wanted to make this talk short, but I'll be doing a whole series of molecular systems videos where I will start educating you about how, what a steroid does, what testosterone replacement therapy does at the molecular systems level inside your body. We'll also look at how the uh, S protein, how it affects the pericytes of vasculature. And then we'll compare how the blood clot levels are both. We'll, we'll do a series of videos. I can't do it in one video. But uh, for God's sakes, um, if you have people out there who are going to support this Kennedy, Booby F and Kennedy, you need to invite them to come to our orientation. You need to um, uh, save them in some extent because they're being taken advantage of. And um, that's why I want everyone to um, do a couple of things before I sign off today. Number one, you can become a Truth for Don't Health Warrior Scholar. Um, today, we have about 60, 70 people um, on our town hall meeting. Um, they're all learning about the Truth, Freedom, and Health movement. You can see some of them here. Um, but you can go to truthfreedomhealth.com to do that. This evening, I will be doing another um, open house and a town hall to educate people about how the climate, the earth is a very, very smart mother. It's a very smart system. Okay? It knows how to protect itself. All right? Um, when the earth's temperature about several billion years ago or million, I uh, forget, let's say uh, hundreds of millions of years ago, were 30% cooler, okay? Think about that. The sun wasn't putting out as much heat. Do you know that the earth still had running water and everything? It wasn't like the earth froze because the cloud cover modulated itself to sustain the heat on the earth's planet. The clouds are a controller. If you study any one of the books here on control system theory, which is we teach to people, you will understand there's stupid systems and there's intelligent systems. The earth is a highly intelligent system. It understands how to use itself clouds to modulate the temperature. And we'll be talking about that um, uh, this evening because I want to educate you all that um, the, the establishment survives on one fundamental, three fundamental um, words, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt, F-U-D. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt is how IBM salespeople would sell IBM. They would scare you into buying IBM. You say, look, they would say, look, we're big blue. That other guy's a small company, right? Uncertainty, you don't know if they're going to be out of business, right? Doubt, can they really do the work, right? So fear, uncertainty, and doubt are a very powerful way to manipulate people. And that is what the climate scam is all about. And I've been talking about this for years, nearly a decade. So, but we're going to keep doing the education. But Booby F. and Kennedy, by the way, supported lockdowns in March of 2020. And he gave two reasons. He said, we need strict lockdowns because they will uh, make sure COVID doesn't spread. And on top of it, we need lockdowns to ensure that the climate is protected, okay? The environment is protected. So that's what this guy is. He's a complete, I don't even wanna say fork tongue. I would say multi-tongued serpent. That's what he is. He's an absolute serpent. Anyway, everyone on everyone on the town on our uh, open house remain. But that's what keep an eye out for that. But the bottom line is when you look at big pharma's legal steroids and the mRNA vax, you know the legal steroids, the steroids have a thousand times more chance of causing a blood clot at minimum than the mRNA vax. Both cause blood clots, but it's how much they do it. And you have someone like Kennedy uh, who's taking legal steroids from big pharma. And he had everyone in his own home get vaccines uh, before they stepped in the mRNA vaccine. And then he tells people that he cares for your health. This guy's full of shit. Anyway, thank you, everyone. Um, keep an eye out for um, this evening. But we all need to uh, WTFU and um, recognize that we need to build a movement. And the only movement that's doing it is ShivaForPresident.com. You can go to ShivaForPresident.com, become a volunteer and support this historic campaign. Donate, but when you donate, I give you lots of knowledge and books or go to truthfreedomhealth.com and become a warrior scholar. Those are the two ways you can support um, the work that we do. Thank you everyone, be well.